In this class, we will know about uh, candidate elimination algorithm, which is the second approach to concept learning. It addresses limitations of uh, our previous algorithm, find as algorithm, such as uh, considering uh, all negative examples and uh, all hypotheses are uh, consistent. Before starting candidate elimination algorithm, first we will take required definitions for consistency of hypothesis with respect to all training examples and version spaces. Hypothesis is consistent with respect to all training examples if and only if h of x equal to c of x for each example x comma c of x in all training examples d here x is instance and c of x is a target value next the version space version space is the subset of hypothesis which is consistent now we will discuss our candidate elimination algorithm by considering enjoy sport example which we consider for our previous algorithm, find as algorithm. Okay. So here we have three positive examples and one negative example. So three positive examples are where we can enjoy, on which day we can enjoy spot, S yes, is there and negative example is no is there. So here uh, candidate, this algorithm starts by considering uh, most general hypothesis G naught and uh, most specific hypothesis S naught as boundaries. So G naught contains all question marks. So for at any type of situation, the condition is true and S naught conditions all pi values. That is a most specific hypothesis. So when first training example is considered, okay, so that one is the positive example. The candidate algorithm checks the S boundary and finds that uh, overly specific it fails to cover the positive example. So the boundary is therefore revised by moving it to the least more general hypothesis that covers this uh, new example. So here you observe that one S naught contains uh, all pi values okay that is the most specific one. So here by considering the first positive example we are creating S1. So S1 contains uh, uh, sunny and uh, uh, air temperature humidity, wind, water and forecast. Okay. So if for these attributes, for these attributes our enjoy sport value is yes, that is a positive example. So there is no update in the boundary, G boundary is needed in response to the positive training examples because G not correctly covers this example. When second training example is observed, which is also a positive, so it is it has a similar effect on the generalizing S further to S2 and leaving G as unchanged. So that is G2 equal to G1 equal to G0. Okay. Here you observe how our S is changes, okay. S1 to S2. So in both the examples, uh, uh, sky attribute values are sunny only. So we are keeping sunny as it is. Uh, for air temperature attribute uh, values are warm. So we are keeping warm as it is. Uh, for humidity, uh, in the first example, its value is normal. In the second example, its value is high. So whether it is humidity is normal or high, we are enjoying the sport. That is a positive example. So we are removing that normal. We are keeping a question mark there. Then for the remaining three attributes, wind, water, forecast, uh, their values are not changed. So we are unchanged that one. So in the case of S2, we made only one change. Normal, we converted to the uh, question mark. As illustrated by these uh, first two steps, uh, positive training examples uh, may force the S boundary of the version space uh, 
to become increasingly general negative training examples play complementary role of forcing g boundary to become increasingly specific consider the third example which is a negative example reveals that g boundary of the version space is overly general it fails to cover the negative example so the boundary is therefore revised by moving it to the least most more specific hypothesis that covers this uh, new example the this revised boundary is shown in g3 g3 contains uh, three hypotheses which why only three hypotheses are used here why not six okay so we have six attributes why you have not used six why you used only three for example the hypothesis h question mark question mark normal question mark question mark question mark is a minimal specification of g2 that correctly labels the new example as a negative example but it is not included in g3 the reason this hypothesis is excluded is that it is inconsistent with the previously encountered positive example so while considering these hypotheses uh, we have to consider consistent hypothesis remaining two also follows the same sort so this leaves uh, uh, s2 is unchanged that is s3 equal to s2 uh, now g2 change it to the g3 which contains the three hypotheses the fourth training example which is a positive example further generalizes the s boundary of the version space it also results in moving one member of the g boundary because this member fails to cover the new positive example why g boundary also changed for positive example in the above example for forecast value change in one case it is yes in other case it is no it leads to confliction in generalization so the hypothesis which contains only forecast is removed from g3 to get g4 after processing these four examples the boundary sets s4 and g4 delimit the version space of all hypotheses consistent with the set of incrementally observed training examples the entire version space including those hypotheses bounded by s4 and g4 as shown in the diagram this land version space is independent of the sequence in which training examples are represented as further training data is encountered the s and g boundaries will move monotonically closer to each other delimiting a smaller and smaller version space of candidate hypothesis let us take above steps in the form of algorithm for candidate elimination technique first we have to initialize s and g with the most specific hypothesis and most generalized hypothesis so for each training example in d so we have to check whether that is positive example or negative example if d is a positive example then remove from g any hypothesis inconsistent with d so listen we have to remove hypothesis which are inconsistent so then next one for each hypothesis s in s that is not consistent with d remove s from s add to s all minimal generalization h of s such that h is consistent with d and some member of g is more general than h in the case of negative example 
remove from S any hypothesis inconsistent with D. For hypothesis, uh, uh, for each hypothesis in G, in uh, capital G, that is not consistent with D, remove G from G and uh, add to G all minimal specification H of G such that H is consistent with D and some member of S more specific than H. So finally this is the algorithm for candidate elimination technique.